What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. We're talk about several different topics in this video here again today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Terrifier 3. We'll be talking about this new alien movie that's coming out that was first reported back in November I believe. And we'll be talking about Harry Potter to round out the video. So just to kick it off with Scream 6. Scream 6 has a new look sort of well a sort of new look that's available online for you to view of the aged ghost face mask that will be appearing in the upcoming film we already got this cool still release after the teaser dropped a couple weeks back but now fun world has uploaded a halloween 2023 catalog collection that you can take a look at that includes another look at the mask that you see here on your screen now if you want to access it for yourself i'll leave a link on a reddit post uh, that allows you to download a pdf of the collection in the description of this video so this mask definitely belongs to one of the old killers but which one well the working title of the movie is blackmore so billy is definitely an option because we know that blackmore was code for billy during screen 5's filming this was revealed to us by one of the writers i can't remember who revealed this it was either james vanderbilt himself or guy Busick. one of them had revealed that this was a code name for billy loomis in the production of screen 5 so billy is an option obviously it could belong it could belong to another killer i've seen people bring up the fact that it could belong to jill it could belong to um it has to be one of the older ones it cannot belong to amber or richie because of how aged and worn it is some people have brought up roman which i could say yes is a possibility although some people have pointed out certain details about the mask don't add up if it's actually roman so why is the new killer using old mask well we know that viewer non has also recently revealed that sam will be dealing with a nasty rumor about her being the killer from screen five and that amber and richie were innocent so the mask can be used to frame her then that's the most logical assumption but what if there's something more to the mask that will also of course be revealed in screen in screen six but i think there's definitely something more going on with the mask other than of course just tying into this new rumor about sam there's probably something else more unique and uh just fun going on with these masks so just to jump into terrifier 3 damien leon gave an update on terrifier 3 in a couple new tweets recently the day after christmas i believe he said this in a tweet one of the main one of my main goals for terrifier 3 is to recapture the creep factor present in the original terrifier short film that had a genuinely spooky atmosphere that i'm still proud of if all goes as planned part 3 will be the scariest terrifier thus far he also suggested that in terrifier 3 he will attempt to outdo the bedroom kill good luck with that because that scene is so unsettling brutal and impressive all at once you know david howard thorne's performance as art the clown just adds to any der any deranged activities that unfold in these movies because he's just very good at bringing this psychopath to life and very good at making these expressions on his face uh that just kind of just send chills down your spine because you see that he clearly is very talented in the role but also at the same time he's helping bring the character to life in such a good way that you see that this man is literally deranged art the clown is an insane individual and that bed that bedroom kill sequence that definitely was giving the olivia morris kill from screen four run for its money i think it might have outdone that even though you could argue the screen four kill might have been a little bit more aggressive and the production value was was stronger there parts of me thinks that what damien leon was able to accomplish in this sequence outdid what, what i saw from olivia in screen four <laughs> so my biggest hope for terrifier 3 at the moment is a continued noticeable difference in the production value like we saw with terrifier 2 and just to have lauren back at sienna because i think she was one of the best final girls that we got this year i cannot wait to see her again if she returns and i can't wait to see her story evolve over time in this upcoming third movie so just to jump into this second to last report that has to do with the upcoming new alien movie now in november it was reported that fide alvarez will be working on a new entry for the alien franchise now he is writing and directing this upcoming standalone story as the report describes it uh there is also a tv show on the way but it, but it appears that this project has nothing to do with that so far kaylee spaney was reported to be in talks to star in the upcoming film as a lead role or a lead character although at this present time casting is still underway there hasn't been anyone officially announced attached to the project but this new recent report that i primarily want to discuss is an update from production list that has a project titled as alien alien romulus 
which is starting production in Budapest on February 6th. So now we know or have an idea at least of when they are looking to start production on this new Alien movie. They are looking to start on February 6th out in Budapest. I haven't been following this project too closely. That's mostly because the last Alien movie, which I believe was Covenant, came out going on six years ago. And while I didn't find that to be terrible, I just was kind of done with the Alien franchise after that. With this new creative team that Disney has assembled for the upcoming film, I am intrigued to see how it goes because I we got we got Predator back. So I was like, OK, we're probably going to get Alien back. And then this report came out last month. So it is shaping up to be something that is garnering my interest. And I can't wait to see what these two can bring to the table because we know that they've done great work in the past on Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. So just to round out this video by talking about Harry Potter and the status of the Wizarding World. This is being reported by WDW Pro, and I'll leave a link to a video in the description that you can also watch as it goes deeper into this report that some of these outlets are picking this up for. Uh, it's being reported that Harry Potter is going to have a big reboot in the next three to five years. Now, again, this is coming from WDW Pro, who is also claiming recasting is on the table for certain major roles if necessary. Now, no story details were given because it's in the very early stages. And at this point, it's just a rumor for now. But reboot can be a simple thing like telling a new story about kids at Hogwarts and connecting them to the legacy cast and creating a new Voldemort threat for them that isn't exactly Voldemort. The worst has just been assumed about this report because many think this instantly means all seven books will be retold in film format and i hope that isn't the case because these movies are still very fresh i also don't believe that this will be the case you have people like teddy lupin who has a story that can be told and adapted you have harry's kids etc you can dive into some of the past characters go into some origin stories there harry himself also has a character also as a character can have a new story told as an as an aurora in his new career path if a recast happens because Daniel and the others won't commit, I mean, good luck getting people like me to invest because the children like myself who grew up with this, we aren't that old. I wouldn't be against a, a recast, but at the same time, if I see someone else on screen as Harry Potter this early with Daniel still fresh in mind, and it wasn't that long ago he portrayed the character and he could still do it right now, that is going to be something that I think will, will like not just sit well with a lot of people. I can watch it and live with it, but I think that the the J.K. Rowling drama and all that stuff, that's probably going to hurt this if they have to go in the recasting route. But I think these characters will be back and you'll have the same actors once again. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss the video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.